Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find a closed loop transform function from the CISO tool. Okay, let's say we have a transform function. We have g equals to uh, 12 over s square plus 2s plus 3. And then uh, we have this kind of architecture. Uh, like this. Okay, so we have the f, c, g, 1, and h. So f in this case is 1. We only have c, g, and h value. Okay, let's say our c is equals to 1. And uh, we want to use the CISO tool to plot it. Okay, let's call for the CISO tool. You can run it and you can have this kind of function. Okay this view so i just close the boot diagram view i just want to focus on the locus and the uh, transfer function as uh, that output okay from r to y this, this is the closed loop transfer function response for the uh, g okay so we have our g here the uh, value for g is 12 over s square plus 2s plus 3 and our h now is 1 okay it means at uh, unity feedback so let's say for example we want to have uh, we want to add a hitch that is non-unity uh, and I have uh, this kind of function for hitch okay so what I need to do is just I can uh, edit architecture and then I clear click on it and I just click this arrow down button and I can import the H from my workspace okay so just click import and close okay so now we have a new uh, plot for the root locus editor we included the uh, H uh, which we have uh, s at negative 6 the pole at negative 6 for the feedback uh, transfer function here and then we have changes to the uh, uh, closed loop transfer function of the system so if you click on h here we now have the value is 1 over s plus 6 okay so let's say uh, for some reason we want to change the value of s let's say i change to 3 uh, maybe uh, to 4 okay and now i want to have this corresponding plot for the closed loop transfer function okay how to do it we can get the uh, transfer function directly from the CISO tool, we click on the export button. Click on the export, tune blocks, and then what do you want? We want to have this, uh, but click on the export, tick IO transfer R to Y. What does it mean? This is actually the transfer function that corresponds to this step response here. So uh, either you want to use this or you can rename it uh, as, as uh, any name that you want. For example, uh, for the timing, I just click export. Okay, so you now go to workspace and you can see a new variable here called IO transfer function, IO transfer R to Y uh, from the uh, CISO tool. Now, this is uh, in the state space uh, data. So it's different from what we have learned so far in the tf transfer function so we can actually convert this io i double click on it you can see here there are some values here let's go back later uh, we can use the uh, transfer function or a function from matlab called uh, i help uh, state space to transfer function so actually uh, this function can be used to uh, convert okay convert from the state space transfer function to the uh, normal transfer function uh, tf that we uh, already know okay what do we need to do we need to have this stuff a b c d into this function so this a b c d we can get from this uh, i o transfer r to y a b c d so how to call it Okay, uh, let's say just we, we copy and paste and I want to use the default for IU 
So now we want to find for the numerator and denominator. And what we need to have is we need to have this uh, IO P. I just press tab to complete it. I copy and I just put here dot A. So what is actually this uh, command do? So just copy it. Just want to show this IO transfer R to dot A. We call a variable in the uh, variable IO transfer. So I just run it. I have this uh, one to three by three. Okay, three by three vector. So if you go to A, double click on it. So actually it calls the same uh, variables. Okay, this one. Okay, we just put everything into r to y dot b into this ss to tf transfer function dot c and dot d okay just put it and i just put semicolon or maybe you want to see what is the output press evaluate selection so this is the numerator and this is the denominator so we can now uh, find the transfer function. Let's say we call the uh, for this transfer function G GCL, a closed loop transfer function, TF, and now we can call for the numerator and the denominator. Okay, just call, and then this is the resultant closed loop transfer function. So let's see if our closed loop transfer function is correct. So we call for step function, step of GCL, we run it. Okay, this is the figure that we, uh, we found. And this is the earlier, earlier figure that we found using the CISO tools. So if we try to see the characteristic, the peak response and the uh, settling time, so the response should be the same for both plot here. Okay, and this one as well. So characteristic for peak response as well as for the settling time. So, okay. Right, so let's see. We have exactly the same plot here, you know, you see the 67.8%, 67.8% at time 1.04, at what time 1.04, and the uh, setting time is 9.56, setting time is 9.56, okay? So, this is how we can export the closed loop transfer function from the CISO tools, okay? So, I hope you can uh, try it yourself and you can do... Uh, revise uh, this video to answer uh, maybe questions from uh, any uh, labs or any uh, example assignments and everything. If you have any problem, just let me know. Thank you for your attention.